If you know, you know. And we all know, even a blind man can see this coming. Even Steven Wonder could see this coming. He don't even have to wonder. So the WBC stripped Devin Haney because he had a surgery like yesterday and they automatically stripped him of the title. Something they didn't do to Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin when they held the title for over two years when Charlo was the mandatory. And then they gave Canelo Alvarez the French fries title that's not a belt or a title to avoid a Charlo. And they did the same thing to Devin Haney. And like I said, this happened on multiple occasions. Even Keith Thurman, when he was out for a minute, they didn't strip him of his title. Even an Errol Spence, for example, and that's my guy. He didn't have his seatbelt during the car accident. And Alhamdulillah, he's still here and he's still safe. However, he will have his strap when he get back into the ring. However, when it comes to Devin Haney, as soon as he have a surgery, he automatically stripped. And it ain't a coincidence that the same guy that didn't want to fight Devin Haney or wasn't interested in fighting Devin Haney, and that's Lil Campbell, now nah, gets a chance to fight for a world title against Fortuna. And I believe this is his third time at a world title almost back to back to back. But that hope card is working, I'll tell you that, because how convenient is it to fight for Devin Haney strap without fighting Devin Haney? The same guy you avoided. However, the good thing about this whole situation is that as soon as Devin Haney comes back to the ring, he will automatically fight for his title. However, they better not send my man back to the UK to get his strap if Luke Campbell does pull it off. That being said, I believe the WBC did all this to save face for Lomachenko. The reason why, if Lomachenko goes and defeats the winner of Lopez versus Kome that's taking place this weekend, then Lomachenko could claim he undisputed because if Devin Haney's still out or he's about to fight Luke Campbell, he could claim that, hey, well, I already beat Luke Campbell, who has the regular WBC title, so I am undisputed, which we all know that's not the case. They can make titles up like the WBC French Fries title that's not even a belt. However, you're not undisputed till you grab all the four straps at once. Now, it's one thing if you're trying to unify and they strip you because a mandatory is like a Corolla who don't belong to be in the ring with you. However, when it's actually a great fighter or a good fighter like Charlo or Devin Haney, and then you choose not to fight them, that's a different story. Because Devin Haney versus anybody at the lightweight division is a mega fight. Devin Haney does pad work and gets a million views on YouTube. Meanwhile, Lomachenko get promoted daily, comparing him to the greatest Muhammad Ali, which he don't even come close to. And he still can't even sell in the States. They even try to erase his loss on more than one occasion. They erased his loss one time. The second time, they made it as a draw. And that's a loss you can never erase because he didn't even graduate from the Mexican University. Salido gave him a capital L, not a regular L. So that being said, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to these casual fans. Follow Lunatu Boxing for the funniest boxing memes. Shout out to DBN. Shout out to Dante. Shout out to New Media. And... Click on the notification bell to get notified every time you post to go live, especially on Split Decision. So tune in this weekend. We will go live on Split Decision. We want y'all to call in. We could agree to disagree. We could debate. Or y'all could show love to the Aki family. So to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace and we out of here.